Is political crisis getting you down? Need a breather from the toughest From Software title in years? Lucky for you, Baby Bowser has stolen all of Yoshi's dream gems and he needs your help to get them back. Yoshi's Crafted World is the spiritual successor to Yoshi's Woolly World, a Wii U title known for its adorable aesthetic and paint by numbers Nintendo design. Each level is a diorama of upcycled trash and experimental furnishings, the kind of thing you see on the middle class daytime TV. The variety in levels is heartwarming, from river rides on lily pads made of cork to plasticine spacewalks. There's even a mission where Yoshi has to evade Sackboy-esque serial killers, each fabric foe wielding a tinsy tinfoil axe. <laughs> Despite the chaos of later levels, the serenity of Yoshi's Crafted World is its unique selling point. The wistful score behind each level wraps you in a sonic blanket as you flutter through the sky and mark departure from a chafing cardboard that lines each level. There's a wonderful Shoji mission where you have to guide Yoshi's shadow through the screen doors, jostling past bamboo thicket made of plastic straws. The DIY art direction is a clever illusion that I kept being tricked and subsequently delighted by when I figured out what made each asset tick. Despite its stellar looks, the crafted conceit isn't woven into the world with quite as much care as Woolly World's balls of yarn. There are moments of clarity when you're using a rhino's tinfoil horn to pop balloons or climbing pop cans with magnets, but it doesn't quite find a way to consistently tie the gameplay to the setting, making it more about curious exploration than solving clever puzzles. Also, games like Tearaway and Little Big Planet have already trodden on similar ground with greater effect, which diminishes some of the pizzazz, especially when most of the levels follow the same platforming formula. The main thing that bogs it down is the egg throwing mechanic, which requires you to hold down a button and aim with the left stick and environment assets to suppress puzzles and pick up collectibles. I'm perplexed as to why this doesn't utilize the gyroscopic motion in the Joy-Cons, which would definitely be far more intuitive even if it was just an option. Having to micromanage the rest of Yoshi's platforming abilities alongside this is deeply frustrating, especially when the screen scrolls faster than you can throw. The same can be said for HD Rumble, which is very underutilized. Instead, there are seemingly pointless dialogue choices and pencil boxes that double as anti-air projectile launchers. Replayability wise, you can play through the flip side of levels to find Poochie Pals, and there are tons of collectibles and a few secret zones for the completionists to find, as well as the aforementioned costume sets that you can farm coins to unlock. It's a shame that they don't really do anything beyond looking cute though. If they had certain functions to make the platforming easier, that would incentivize the roulette machine model, rather than just being a cynical costume collector. It's very accessible for little ones too, or people less comfortable with platforming games. Mellow Mode affords Yoshi a pair of wings so he can endlessly wiggle through the sky. This can be activated at any time, so I'd often end up switching it on in a tight spot, especially if a collectible was just out of reach. The difficulty in recommending this game is that it's an absolutely solid Nintendo platformer, but it doesn't really do anything ambitious or use its conceit to great effect. I consistently wanted to soldier on to see what the next gorgeous world would entail, but when all was said and done, the experience felt slightly hollow, even if I'd had my eyes bleached by Yoshi's cute capers. We give it 3.5 stars.